Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, so this week I'm on the Isle of Mull, off the uh, west coast of Scotland. I'm here for about seven days and looking forward to getting some wonderful wildlife photography and video. Um, my expectations for the week, none. Um, if I get to see the otters, absolutely great. If I get to see them close up and photograph them and video them, even better. Um, my main focus is to be able to photograph the otters without them seeing me and be able to leave them without them seeing me as well. So it's basically being able to enjoy the wildlife, document it and for them never to even know that I was there. Um, but it's always quite important, I think, to, to respect the wildlife in its own environment. Um, I've been looking online, so there's loads of different places I've sort of recognised um, where people have been and they're saying, oh, we've seen otters here and there. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm going to do some exploring myself. Um, I'd love to see some eagles, so that would be a bonus if I got to see them. Um, but once again, no expectations. Um, it is just down to pure luck and chance, I think, um, when it comes to, to travelling around like this and looking for wildlife. You can miss it by literally 60 seconds. Um, one day driving by and the next, nothing for the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, the forecast for the week is lovely weather, dry weather, sunny skies. We've got some clear nights coming up. So there's a possibility of the Northern Lights happening Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. So fingers crossed that it'll be a clear night then and then get some pictures. Uh, apart from that, I'm just looking forward to travelling around the island and enjoying the time away. And when I come back, get this video done and crack on with other projects. So without further ado, I need to get down to Arderton, I think it's called, on the southwest coast. It's quite probably the furthest, one of the furthest points on the island, right opposite the island of Iona. So that's where I've got myself catering accommodation. And at this time of year, you're saving yourself about £200 on the summer price, at least. Um, so that's really good. One of the reasons why I came anyway, just to save a bit of cash doing that. Um, but also, the, the, you, the amount of people that are going to be on the island, it'll be just negligible um, compared to being here in the summer. I cannot imagine how busy this place would be in the height of summer. Um, apparently they get something like 600,000 visitors a year to this little island. So that is an awful lot of people. Um, so I think coming in in February um, and having the island more or less to yourself is absolutely perfect and the right way to do it. And it's just luck with the weather. So anyway, without further ado, I need to get off to my accommodation, get unpacked and uh, start exploring. So I will see you around the island. So I've just spotted some deer here on the hillside and they're really close. Some of the tame, these ones here, really don't mind me stopping and taking photographs. Um, but I think further up in the hills that you go, they are a bit skittish um, and not as tolerant to humans as these ones are lower down to the uh, to civilization. Yeah, this one's just eating off a tree. 
and seems quite happy for me to take some video and photos of him. They are lovely creatures, aren't they? Very majestic, very Scottish. Anyway, I'm going to leave him to eat and uh, head out and look for these otters. So, one of the things that you're going to have to do on the Isle of Mull is be patient, quiet, and lying in the rocks and seaweed and get comfortable with it and wait. On days like this, it's just, it's beautiful. I was down here yesterday and there were a family of three otters. Absolutely fantastic to watch. I'm going to put that video up. Absolutely beautiful. To, it was just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Just swimming around, coming up onto the rocks. Um, but eventually just left them to it. But yeah, I've now seen four sets of otters around the Isle of Mull so far. So yeah, I definitely know where they are. Um, just listening out for birds. Yes, I know where they are on the island. Um, well, these four sets anyway. It's just perfect weather. I've been so fortunate this week. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and wait. three here on the Isle of Mull. Um, I had a fantastic few days so just a bit of a roundup um, on what's been going on and what I've seen so far. In fawn deer um, and an otter in the evening um, and that, that was about it really. There's plenty, there's plenty of uh, red deer here on the Isle of Mull um, so don't be afraid that you're not going to see them if you want to come here and photograph the red deer. They're literally everywhere. Some are very skittish, um, more so those that are in the mountains. Um, the ones that are nearer to civilization um, just seem to sit there and carry on about their own business and ignore you, really. Um, but plenty of opportunities to get some really good photos of, of stags here. Um, day two yesterday um, started off a bit quiet, um, just photographing oyster catchers on the edge of a lock, um, not a lot going on. Um, took a drive around again, didn't see very much. Um, then went back to a location, favourite location of mine and saw a family of three otters and managed to get some wonderful uh, photos and videos of those. Um, first day photographing the otters, it was just too bright, it's too sunny. I mean, the weather here is absolutely phenomenal. It's like summer in the middle of winter. It is just incredible, blue skies, 
no clouds in the sky, no wind, there's nothing. Um, and then last night we had the Northern Lights, the Aurora Bellas, and that was just phenomenal. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up of, of that in a minute. And tonight is supposed to be higher, supposed to have a, lot, a higher KP index. So that means the Northern Lights are going to be a lot more intense tonight. So I'm going to get myself um, right down the end with the island of Iona in the foreground and the lighthouse, hopefully, and get some lovely pictures and time lapse video of the Northern Lights there this evening. So really looking forward to that. Um, on the way home again, I'm going to go um, back to my otter location and see if there's any otter that's there. This morning, there was an otter here at this lock. Um, unfortunately, there was some guy just stood here with his mobile phone right in front of the otter, um, taking some pictures and video and scared the otter off. It, it's gone now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to shut up, show you some more pictures and videos, uh, some more wildlife and see what else I get to see today. out the corner of my eye I just noticed uh, uh, an object in the tree that pulled over and it's a white-tailed eagle I couldn't believe it absolutely just just fantastic just sat there on this branch on top of this pine tree amazing um, so I pulled over done some photos and, and video um, it's against a, a very white sky this morning so no definition in the sky unfortunately but Hey, it's a white eagle nonetheless. So anyway, I've been sat here and I've seen a, a couple of others flying around as well. Um, and, and second one, as I was changing to put my extender on to the camera, a second white-tailed eagle came in and sat next to it. Couldn't believe my luck. Changing the, the lens over and in comes a, a white-tailed eagle. Anyway, got some photos and video of that. Thought, right, they're going to fly off any minute. Changed my extender. And as I was doing that, the second eagle flew off. And I didn't get the image of it flying off. Anyway, it then came back and I managed to get a picture of the second one flying in. Not a brilliant picture, it was a bit rushed. Um, but no, absolutely fantastic, guys. Absolutely, I can't believe it. Um, something I wanted to see was, was an eagle. Um, and here we have two white-tailed eagles and two more that were flying around earlier. Um, unbelievable. Anyway, here's some photos and video of those two eagles.
well what can i say guys what an absolutely amazing experience i have just had what a bleeding experience i've had today never mind just now honestly i'm having the time of my life here on mull i've just been within 20 feet of an otter watching it hunting eating fish cleaning swimming didn't know I was there at all. Waited till it dived and ran away as fast as I could before it came back up. Um, took me about 20 minutes to actually get near it. Just try to go as slowly and as quietly as possible because I, I actually spotted it about 100 meters away with the binoculars. Um, I got out of the car and made my way on foot. I uh, couldn't find it anywhere. Um, I eventually spotted it with binoculars asleep or well, just cleaning itself on the seaweed um, and then started to make my way towards it. It then went into the sea and started fishing and getting something to eat um, and each time it dove I moved my way a little bit closer. Um, absolutely covered in bird muck but hey who cares, who cares what you're covered in eh? Oh man, what amazing pictures and, and photos, video. And then the, the um, and then the white-tailed eagles this morning. I mean, what more could you want in a day? This is just unbelievable. Um, and I've still got another two full days to go. So absolutely, I don't know what else to photograph. I'm more or less done. Um, I don't know if I can even better it. But anyway, here's the videos, here's the photos, guys. Um, outstandingly amazing. Um, so yeah, nearly over. And I've still got to go back to where I see the family of three otters. So anyway, just watch this, guys. It's amazing and beautiful. <laughs> So it's a bit bright. So I've been down there with the otters now for oh, a good two hours and got some of the best photos and video I could have hoped for. Absolutely fantastic. The otters just eating, swimming, playing, resting. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so anyway, 
My wife's been patiently waiting in the car for me for two hours. Um, so I best get back um, and go for a walk, have some lunch and see what the rest of the day brings. just gotten as close as I can to these otters that have just swum up and started feeding on the rocks about 15 meters in front of me they haven't seen me and I'm literally photographing from almost round a bend here but it's absolutely fantastic to watch it's great seeing them come up and they're literally eating on crayfish. One of them came up a minute ago with a crayfish in his mouth and you can see the tentacles sticking out of the otter's mouth of the crayfish. And then when they uh, tend to catch like a, a sculpin fish, they'll come up onto the rocks and then eat that. And then go back into the water it's absolutely fantastic. guys this is the last uh, few hours today that I'm here on the Isle of Mull and it's been an absolutely fantastic seven days here um, got so much more than I could have ever wished for um, lessons learnt don't rely on any information I see on YouTube 
<laughs> ironically. Um, I did quite a bit of research and looking at other people's videos and, and locations and, and recognizing mountains in the background and then sort of finding those locations on Google Maps um, and then heading to those locations whilst I've been here and I've seen nothing. So I would say the first day, day and a half was absolutely wasted and then set about putting my own plan together and how I was going to find the otters, um, which worked absolutely perfectly. I've seen so many otters, I don't think I could take another picture of an otter for the rest of the year. Um, I spent hours with them, literally hours. I've got a bruised chest from lying on the rocks for so long, stiff neck, um, and thousands of photos, and probably a good couple of hours worth of footage of the otters that I'm going to have to go through uh, to make this video. So I'm hoping that it wasn't too long and too boring or too many otters in it for you. Um, and then I've seen four white-tailed eagles. That was just, that was absolutely just pure luck. Um, heading through an area where I know that uh, the eagles had been spotted. Um, headed up there, I've been traveling along the road every day this week. And on this particular morning, I saw a golden, uh, not golden eagle, a white-tailed eagle sat on a branch, literally just 30 meters off the side of the road on the pine tree. Um, stopped, took some pictures, didn't move. Second one then flew in. I then saw a third one fly overhead and the fourth one fly further away to the back of me. Um, whether it was the same one as the third one, I don't know. but. Just watching those two uh, white-tailed eagles sitting together in the tree um, and at one point it was really nice, they were just rubbing beaks together so they're obviously a pair um, and then flying off and then coming and spending two hours on the shorelines of this loch just photographing otters and being so close and watching them um, catch the fish and rest and swim it's just been absolutely fantastic and not forgetting the birds as well um, plenty of rock pipits and oyster catchers and um, cormorants and shags um, absolute team with wildlife it just all depends on your preference and what you want to photograph I've tried to include a few birds as well within this video um, but again there's it it's a weird one with the birds here because uh, they are very scattered around. Um, I suppose it's not the time of year for there to be a lot of birds around here in winter at the moment. Um, I'm sure the, uh, the abundance does come later in the spring um, when they all start nesting and, and going out looking for food. But guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to be here on Mull. It's been a pleasure to create this video for you all. And I hope you all like and subscribe. It means a great deal. And until the next time, and the next big adventure and sign out and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching